Guys, oh my goodness. Um, where am I going to start? Uh, it is the 8th of June. It's summer, baby. I can't wait for the Incredibles 2. I think everybody has. But it's we're not doing the Incredibles 2 right now. I just watched House Dragon Dragon 3 trailer, The Hidden World. My goodness. I hope this is good. It's supposed to be the epic conclusion, like the end, the end sequence we've been all been waiting for, and of course it, it's it's saying that we're not going to see more house Dragon anymore. But this will make everything like it's gonna like combine the stories into one. Why this is happening, and it's also gonna be like kind of like an outsider like thing or like member of. It's it's almost like that sort of deal. If you ever watched Outsiders, you know what I'm talking about. It starts over. The the story starts over, but in like a different way. This starts. I like how this movie, or this trailer, is doing stuff that isn't in any, any isn't in any of the House of Dragon like franchises. Of course, there are some flashbacks of Hiccup and Toothless. Um, meeting together and they stopping Dragor and the and the evil King Dragon in the second movie. In the first movie they defeated the Queen Dragon. Now in this third movie we have like we still have Dragor. I don't know where he's gonna be in the movie, but I'm guessing he's gonna be somewhere in the movie. But we have this new guy that hunts night fairies. Now I have a sticking suspicion that this guy killed all the night fairies in the first movie, but he didn't get he didn't get toothless. He flew off, he went to Burke, and he he was just uh, just an outcaster. That's because the Vikings didn't like how the d dragons kept on, like taking their food. But when Hiccup found Toothless, he was hurt. So he made he, he made a bond with him. And they, they bonded together. And then Hiccup made the Vikings m appreciate dragons, what they are, and not enemies. And then in the second movie, they have like that sort of deal of, they're still dragons. They still have feelings, but they are... They're our family. They're family in a way that we can still we can still appreciate what they are and what they do. The set in the third movie, what I've what I've just looked up in the trailer is that we have stuff that's gonna happen in all in, like literally I think this is the entire movie. I'm guessing it's just gonna be like an entire like sequence and events that's gonna happen. I'm not sure, but this actually looks really good. It, the animation is spawn on. I mean, DreamWorks does a great job of animation. Um, this is the first time that DreamWorks and Universal are working together. Because I don't think they've ever worked together. I don't think. Oh, wait, they did. They they worked together with the Kind of Hat movie. Yeah. They, were, they, they worked with DreamWorks, Universal, oh no, Universal, DreamWorks, and um, Imaginate Studios made Cat and Hat, the live action movie. But it, I guess it didn't go well. So I'm guessing it's been so long, they're like, okay, how's our dragon? It's super easy. It's a animation film. There's no live action. There's no supposed to, we don't need to put live action. Then Universal's like, well, we have a good animator, so we can we can help you. And they're like, all right. So we have Universal and DreamWorks gonna do this the fir the, the the first time they're ma they're they're cooperating again, and they're also making the third movie for How to Train Dragon. I'm just telling you this right now. I'm also very excited of how I like how this plot goes. I like how Toothless and Hiccup are still buds. They're still a family. And I liked how Hiccup has made a topia for dragons that, like, they can live in. And they can, uh, like, they can, like, they, they have food. They have shelter. They have, they even have little houses that they can just sleep in. That's so cool. Um, I just like how they still have Gobber. He's still like the most funniest person in the movie. What I did, what, what I haven't, what I haven't seen is uh, Snarled, um, Fish Legs, and Roughnut and Toughnut. All I've seen is Asher, Hiccup, and Toothless. That's it. But here's the other things that happen. Basically, they, I'm guessing Toothless. Remember, Toothless has the ability to can hear like really, really good because it was the same person that made Stitch, and you know Stitch has really good hearing. So, like, Toothless uses his, like, big ears to, like, hear something. And he hears something that's familiar. He lands. Pickup's like, uh, bud, what are you doing? 
and he goes into the, into the, tr into the bushes, and he's like, uh, bud, what are you doing? And he goes, he goes into the bushes with Asher, I guess, I guess Asher was with them as well, and they, like, and Hiccup's like, oh my god, he's not alone out here, and there was a white Night Fury, and Asher calls it a Light Fury, which is kind of cool, because, you know, Night Fury, Light Fury, <laughs> eh, kind of makes sense, because it's, I wish it would have called Morning Light a Morning Fury, but Light Fury w works better because it's light and he's and she's very white. She has, I'm telling, I'm 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 calling it a she because it's a white. It's white. She's she, uh, okay. Reason why I'm calling it a she is because remember, Toothless is a male and this is a female. So the females are very white and the males are dark. So it makes sense. Anyways. It's also kind of cool is that now they're like kind of like a yin and yang sort of situation. They're black and white. So hopefully they, they bond in this movie. Hopefully that they do bond. Anyways, the Light Fury has blue eyes, you know, the same like dark black eye and the dot in the middle. So she's kind of like Stitch, but in like a female. It's like if Stitch was female, but and instead of, instead of blue, it's white fur. So it's pretty weird but kind of cool um we are getting to this the point where like toothless and hiccup are in this sort of dilemma, dilemma of like now since this is this, this that we have found this light fairy hiccup's gonna try as best he can to make toothless as i guess he wants toothless to bond with this light fairy and the most weirdest thing is possible like he he gives to this like like all these like can you do this bud do that do that <laughs> this is like the weirdest funniest like things like <laughs> it's just weird but I kind of liked how Hiccup is le is kind of trying to like give to this a chance with this new dragon and there's some stuff that is in this movie that or in this trailer not movie the movie hasn't came out yet but you know, in this trailer that we're getting this sort of bond relationship of like Hiccup, Astrid, and now we're getting Toothless and this Light Fury. Because remember, in the Brace the Edge, Hiccup and Toothless, I, I mean, Hiccup and Astrid, they bond and they, you know, kiss and they, 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 they mate. So hopefully in this new movie coming out, Toothless and this Light Fairy will mate and they'll kiss. I'm not sure. They might do a little like lick lick or something. I'm not sure. But it's mostly going to be like a kiss. I'm not sure. I liked how also this guy, the the, the new bad guy, which has come merged with the entire movie now, he's the one that killed Night Furies. He's the one that uh, wants Toothless and he's the one. And when he says, I need to kill your dragon, and Hiccup's like, You're not touching my dragon. No matter what. And he's like, Okay. If I can have your dragon, I'll kill every single one of your precious dragon buddies. Or destroy your entire kind. And that's that leads up to war. I like how he says, you're nothing w w without your dragon. And I'm not sure if that is coordinating with, like, later on in the movie, Hiccup and Tuzo's getting an argument of, like, maybe Tuzo's will get jealous that Hiccup is, like, always like fussing with him to uh, be next to this light fairy so when this happens to just literally shove hiccup back and hiccups like what are you doing bud i'm your bud and like, he's like he just shoves him back more and his hiccups like okay fine if you want to be that way i'm not going to be with you anymore i i quit and also if i'm not i'm not with you you can't fly and just this like it just maybe my he might just do that and just like they get in a little argument then later on in the movie, they meet again, or, uh, meet there again, and they'll say, Toothless, I'm so sorry, whatever happened, but we need to be get together. And the only way we're together about it is if we work together. So that's when they're gonna they're gonna see, even though I'm when I'm when I'm not without my dragon, I'm still as tough. But I still need my dragon for some stuff. That's the true power of friendship, and I love that. There's other things I like in this trailer is that. We're getting, like, aspects of, like, a hidden world that is inside this giant water crater. And they're and the dragons are hatchlings. And, like, they, they I mean, t 
Hiccup and Astrid find this hidden world or this crater water thing that they didn't show in Algerian 2, but they show like icebergs and forests and stuff. I like how every time when Hiccup and Toothless are like flying around and they find a new place and they sketch it on their map, he like he says to Toothless, what should we call it? It's like, and he's like, itchy armpit. I don't know if they're going to do that in the third movie, but I'm guessing they're going to try. They're like, what should we call this, bud? And he's, and he's like, licking up paw. He's like, paw, water paw. <laughs> I don't know. But I liked how when Hiccup says, we need to stand for us and stand for each other. We cannot be we cannot be around here anymore. We have to get off this. We have to be, we cannot be on this planet anymore. We have to be not, we, ha we have to fight for our freedom to save the dragons and save us. I like how they're cheering and they're like, let's do this, bud. And I love that. I love how they're going to fight for our free, uh, fight for their freedom so that they can. Also, this is like the epic conclusion of the entire movies. This is the epic conclusion. This is the final, this is, the, this is literally the end chapter of House of Dragon. I'm really hoping it's good. I'm actually hoping that everything in this, this con, the, the sequence is so good, it works. And when it does work, I am pleased to tell you when this trailer, when this movie comes out and I watch it, I'll do a full review on it and tell you how I, how I liked it. I'm also be doing a review on Incredibles 2 when that comes out, and I'll watch the little crap of that. But thanks guys for watching. It's been a little bit of a little bit of 11, 30 minutes, uh, 30 seconds, uh, 32 minutes, uh, 30 seconds. I'm not sure. But thank you guys for what uh, for watching my little uh, discussion on how to in the how to Dragon 3 trailer. So I decided I want I want to watch it and see if it's any good. Turned out it was really good. So now I decided I wanted to talk about it with you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Crazy zombie is out. Bye.